Hey guys, welcome to TGS. Today we're going to be talking about ear protection. Uh, and we've got some varieties in front of us, although we're not going to cover every single base. We're going to make some nice general sweeping statements as we love to do. First, we're going to talk about the positives and negatives of over ear muffs. I've got two types in front of me here. I've got standard passives and electronic. So the positives of ear muffs. Well, the positives of ear muffs is that they are so easy to fit. It really takes nothing and any idiot can pop them on their head seal them down and get an adequate fit. That's really good. They're also great in the cold. However, also worth mentioning that in the cold, if you wear them over clothing, so if you're wearing these over a hat or over a jacket, that can reduce their sound protection immensely, immensely. So actually it's recommended you wear them under clothing and then wear clothing over the top. They're also a one size fits all, so you don't have to worry too much. You go and pick up pretty much any pair of ear muffs, pop them on and they're gonna fit you pretty well, fairly much guaranteed. They're also much more hygienic than plugs, although it is recommended that only one person use these without cleaning them between goes. Something that not many people do, although we do, they are available for all ear, for ear defenders, is replacing the hygiene kit, replacing the foam and replacing the ear because they can get dirty over time. And always take a pack of wipes because after doing some research for this video, these things can harbour some pretty nasty stuff if you take them off of someone else. So, best just to give them a quick wipe off with an antibacterial wipe. The negatives of these, but they're really bad in the heat. If you're going to shoot on a hot day or using them on a hot day, you do overheat really easily. They also offer less protection than these because you get no inner ear canal blockage. Again, worth mentioning that the real answer is to have a pair of these and a pair of these over the top if you're really wanting the maximum protection. Although that's kind of a bit belt and braces. Uh, the headband does expand um, and you'll lack that tension will decrease and as such that protection will decrease also. As also mentioned, these hygiene kits will collapse, the actual ear muff foam will collapse and provide less protection in the long run as well. So they do require some maintenance, although that could also be said for plugs. The real downside with these is comes that actually if you're wearing them with glasses, you can get I think up to four decibel sound noid reduction. And if you're wearing them with a hat or clothing underneath, as I said, you can really well, completely obliterate them, almost make them pointless. Not almost make them pointless, but really reduce the efficacy that these can have. So you need to be wearing them right, and if you're gonna wear glasses, you don't want anything with too big a rim that's going to intrude or block or allow more noise in. The difference between passives and electronics is, is fairly vast. In terms of actual protection, the passives will provide you the better option, uh, depending on which ones you go for. There'll be all sorts of different sizes and shapes, and the bigger you go, generally the better the protection you will get. However, the ability to hear what's going on around, and I think with these they have Bluetooth compatibility, so the ability to sit in a hide and listen to music, or to answer your phone and talk to someone on your phone whilst wearing them, is quite handy in the modern day and age, and we can all agree. Personally, however, I would not invest in cheap electronic earphones because it sounds a little bit like white noise and can really detract and distract from your shooting, and you might as well just be wearing a pair of these and lift the ear to talk to someone whilst no shooting is going on, obviously. Realistically, you're going to be in that sort of £70 mark to get electronic ones that are worth owning and above 100 for electronic ones that are truly good. Whereas you can pick a pair of these up for like £7.99. Um, I think slightly nicer constructed ones with slightly nice components are £17.99. So for 20 quid, you can go up and buy one of these. They rattle around forever, um, although buying a hygiene kit would be recommended. There you go. The other downside to these is that if you mount your gun slightly funny or have a different shaped face to some, mounting a gun can be a little bit knocky. Although it shouldn't intrude on your shooting, certain shooting styles and certain bodies, certain face shapes, ear shapes, ear heights, jaw sizes, they will intrude upon your gun and actually that can be equally as annoying if there's just a small margin there and you do over mount and knock it, drop a pair, it's a pair drop. And I don't know about you, but I, I lose enough pairs as it is uh, without losing any more. Hence my personal preference for a long time, although I used electronic over ear muffs for a long time, now is to go for plugs. They're smaller and more compact and that suits me a little bit better. I can chuck them in my pocket, they're less intrusive, although I always have two pairs of these in the car at all times because you never know A, who's with you, B, when they kind of come in handy, and C, uh, when they might be in the wrong pair of trousers or wrong shooting jacket. But yeah. That's just me. 
Moving on to plugs, let's have a look at the positives and negatives. So the positives are earplugs, be that custom made or foam squidgeable or the little banded ones that you just push in. Is that they offer better protection? This is because they actually go into the ear canal. They offer a better fit, a more consistent fit if you fit them right. They are smaller, more compact, easier to carry around. You can carry a whole box of 100 of these in your car door pocket and they will not impede you whatsoever. Um, however, and there's a real downside here, actually before that, one last positive, is they're better with hats and glasses. You can get away with putting these on, putting anything on your head for cold or warm or sunshades or anything like that, and it will not impede that, but either the protection or the comfort of wearing either the glasses or the defenders, and that counts for a huge amount. However, there is a downside, not so much with these, but with these, the budget plugs, which most people use. And that is this, that when they did a study of people who just got these, and put them in their ear so, it provided absolutely zero protection. And they found over 60% of people actually were wearing these wrong because you need to squidge them, squidge them, squidge them, and actually insert them down into the ear canal. And then you actually get the protection. So here is the downside of these is that you need to wear them correctly. And if you do not wear them correctly, you will not get the protection. There's also a downside in hygiene, obviously, these little foam ones are single use, so there are plenty of people who use them multiple times. Um, or at least over the course of a day, if not the course of multiple days or anything like me, because I don't, it just seems wasteful to use these little plastic things and throw them away until someone can create one out of vegetable starch, in which case I'll be all over it like a rash. Um, and even then, something more permanent is better. You need to get these down into the ear canal, and I cannot repeat that enough, or you are not giving yourself any protection whatsoever, and it is just superficial. So, if you're using the foam ones, squidge them. If you're using the other ones, make sure they get in your ears. They need cleaning. If you don't clean your hands before you put them in, the stuff you're putting in your ears is bad. So wash your hands, then insert them into your ears. And then if you have, if they are covered in wax or dirt or grime, don't put them in your ears because ear infections are no fun, as we all know. So increasing your chance of that, well, we will agree that that's just a little bit reckless, silly. Um, <laughs> moving on, apart from these, and then you get sort of the middle grade ones, the flange to silicon type, I can recommend extremely highly these. Uh, these are custom fit guards. Uh, although other brands are available, I really rate these. So, negatives and positives of custom made ear protection. The first negative is that they fill your ear, and it's also a positive, they fill your ear perfectly, which is probably one of the strangest feelings you ever have. It's a bit like going 10 meters underwater because it feels like you've got air pressure. In. The other thing, not only with these custom fit guards, but with the others, is it's not easy to put them on and off. Having these lying around and just going, all right, I'm about to go and shoot a stand, you're ready to go, actually is significantly easier than getting that correct fit moving your jaw about and just getting them to sit right a little bit. And actually, you don't have to do it with these once they're bedded in or maybe your earbuds into them. I haven't quite decided yet. But you do need to get them in right because if they're not in right, it's exactly the same as these foam plugs that they're providing less protection. These foam ones and the non-foam ones and the silicone ones suffer with age. These even do suffer with age, in which case they get compression slightly aging and the valve system and regardless of what you've got on them will degrade slightly. None of these things last forever. That's what I think. Not without any maintenance, at least. I rate these. I It took me a while to actually want a pair. I suppose it's a thing to actually want a pair because I was so happy with just using these little disposable things. However, using them now, having the valve, having that custom fit, it does provide better protection. When you're going out and putting large amounts of ammunition through your gun, or even there's other people around you putting large amounts of ammunition through your gun, tinnitus is no fun, believe me. Uh, me and a lot of friends shot without air defenders for years, um, like reckless retards, and um, before before 30 we're all paying the price, which is no fun at all. The downside to these custom made earplugs is the cost. These, a couple of pence each, these 20 quid, these 150 quid, these start at that 70 pound mark. Um, isn't bad but by the time you buy a nice valve set with some Gucci stuff you're at 120 quid which isn't a huge amount of money until you lose them however buy them in an obnoxious color that no one else would want and then no one's gonna take them up by accident you'll be able to find these very easily and I've almost lost them a couple of times but have redeemed myself which is always good um, and 
the beauty of someone like CFG is they keep your ear impressions for something like five, 10 years. So you can just phone them up, says I need a left ear and they'll get it to you, which is really good. And that is Ear Protection 101, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. If you've got any questions, chuck them below. It's been brilliant. As always, check out CFG's website. Try and avoid these because it's just a huge amount of plastic waste, although I must attest to them being really convenient. If you've got these, look after them, clean them, and make sure you're not wearing them over clothing. And again, if you're using earplugs, make sure they're actually in your goddamn ears. Take care. Goodbye. Look after your ears. See you next time.